بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing we'll we'll try to understand the cisco solution to provide web security now cisco mainly offers two solutions to provide web security one is for on premises by using a dedicated device called wsa and we have another solution for cloud cloud web security now, the basic difference is on premises means like you have your internal network let's say this is my internal network my company network the lan and the user sitting in my lan or trying to access the resources on the internet let's say the web traffic now the web traffic goes through your gateway now your gateway can be a router or can be asa like mostly we have some asas generally do also which which also do deep packet inspection stateful firewall filtering options so what asa is going to do is asa the gateway we can configure the asa to redirect the traffic or we can have an inline wsa basically we have a device called wsa which will be completely monitoring your web traffic now depending upon the policies or the rules whatever we configure the traffic will be allowed we can filter the urls we can say specific social networking site should be blocked we can define the urls we'll we'll see more on that so this is what we call as on premises on premises means you are providing the web security to your uh, your network which is uh, present on or present in your company so it's like on premises we call it as now uh, nowadays we have uh, users which are who are remote users like like let's take an example here you got a branch office here now you want this branch office also should be uh should be secure means whatever the traffic going on the internet should be secure the web web security you want to apply but basically you may have multiple branch offices let's say i got some uh, multiple branch offices so implementing uh, wsa for each and every branch office probably on premises will be is not going to be scalable or even you have some remote users like remote users or the vpn users who are trying to access from a different location not not from your branch office so what you can do is you can configure something called cloud web security where you can uh, ensure that whatever the traffic going from this uh, asa it actually connects to some kind of cloud infrastructure like it's a kind of cloud environment which is going to scan uh, the traffic for malware as well as it is going to scan for kind of policy enforcement now now your traffic will be redirected to the cloud instead of getting into the wsc here so you have a wsc here on premises but here you don't have wsc on premises so this cloud infrastructure which is like centralized cloud they connect to that particular cloud infrastructure where you enforce the policies and where it scans for some kind of malicious codes and then before it actually goes on the internet so this way we can provide your remote branches or the remote users to secure the web traffic the same way as you do on on premises so there's no much difference between these two so the only difference is one is on premises other one is on the cloud so so to make that possible again you generally configure some kind of you know uh, some kind of you know the device the asa or whatever the gateway routers uh, they use some kind of cws connectors which which will be used to redirect the traffic onto the cloud infrastructure so there are different options even most of the isr g2 routers even the cisco asa firewalls or even if you're using remote users basically we have something like any connect a mobility client software can be used which can be used to redirect the traffic to the cloud infrastructure so so we got two solutions both does does the same job so cisco acquired a company called ironport so that's the reason when you, when you get into the wsa command line you still see some kind of ironport name that's a company which uh, which was acquired by cisco to provide uh, web security for on premises and we have something like scansafe that was 
the company which was providing the cloud security. So Cisco acquired that company in 2009 to provide cloud web security. So, so now we call this with these names, but at the back end, these are the actual programs or the vendors which was acquired by Cisco to provide the Cisco web security solutions.